Here's a little mental health pro tip for y'all. Um, imposter syndrome is real. And it doesn't go away. If you struggle with imposter syndrome, you need to take care of yourself because here's the thing. It doesn't matter if I get to the next level of whatever success is for you, however you've defined it, then it'll be okay and, and it won't. Um, I know for me, I thought, well, maybe when I get an agent, that'll make me feel va validated. That'll make me feel less like an imposter. And it helps, but it didn't fix it. And then I think, well, maybe if I'm published, if I get a book deal, then maybe then, I won't struggle so much. And again, it helps, but it doesn't fix it. And then you think, well, maybe if the reviews are good for my book, and you guys see where I'm going with this. The success does not fix your feelings of mediocrity. But if you're like me and you struggle with that, you gotta take care of yourself. You need to talk about it with somebody. You need to take medication if you need to take medication. You need to have habits that bring you joy or get your mind off of any negative thoughts you have. Imposter syndrome is real. It doesn't go away, but you can't cope with it. You're not alone. And uh, as creatives, I think we're all in this together. If you struggle with imposter syndrome, you struggle with negative thoughts, leave a comment and tell us how you cope and, and try to move on from those negative thoughts. Thank you.